Hey guys, it's Sarah Young with Minus Matters, and today I'm going to go over a really exciting topic that I love that's all about how to use essential oils. So if you are have been using essential oils for a little bit now, and you're a bit overwhelmed and confused about how to use them, you're not sure if you're using them safely or effectively, um, or maybe you're looking into getting essential oils, and you're a bit confused on all the information out there, and you're like, oh, I don't want to do it wrong, then this video is for you, okay? So we're going to go all about how to use them, the three main ways, and then I'm going to give you some first uh, real world examples on how I actually use them in those ways on day to day in my day to day life with myself, my family, my son in my home. Okay. So first off, I would love to get to know who you are a little bit more. So if you don't mind commenting your name, how many kids you have and your guilty pleasure. And so I say guilty pleasure because I think as moms, we forget, tend to forget some of our passions and our guilty pleasures. We don't spoil ourselves enough with them. So hopefully this will be a memory jogger on what that is for you and give you permission to go out and do it this week for yourself. Okay. And it's a fun way for me to actually get to know you more. I don't like to be this talking head behind a computer screen. And so it's a fun way for me to engage and get to know you on a personal level. So, um, and if you don't know who I am, my name is Sarah Young and I'm the creator of My Nest Matters, which is a natural living, lifestyle, and motherhood blog. And that's my son, Wesley, and my husband, Evan. We're a military family. We live in Southern California. San Diego area, and I'm passionate passionate about all things natural, all things holistic, um, health when it comes to my son, my health, my my family's health, and I love sharing it with all of you guys too. Uh, so a lot of the stuff that I learn and I come across originally is just for myself, and then I share it with all of you once I feel that I've it's something that others need to learn about and hear about. So when it comes to essential oils, you know I have lots of different things on my blog, but essential oils are one of those topics that I've recently been adding in more and more more of because I just feel that they're so easy and effective and powerful and a simple way, a safe way and a gentle way for moms, for families, for dads to be able to support their kids as well as themselves on so many different levels. So we're going to get into those a bit today. And, um, and, uh, I just believe that it's something that every family really should just like have in their medicine chest. You know, most families have Tylenol or things like that. I really think that essential oils, as more and more families learn how to use them, that's going to be one of the key things that's in their cabinets as well. And it's great because it's a lot more natural, right? So, um, and so this is my son, Wesley, right here. And everything that I do is really based around him. And then I later go on and share it with all of you. So thank you for being here today. Um, I know that you're between a diaper change or a late night feeding or carpool or make, packing lunches for the kids. So thanks for existing and thanks for joining me on this training. So when we get into oils, you have to understand now when we're talking about the different ways to use it, that there's actually a couple different schools of thought on how oil should be used. And they contradict each other. Um, so it's something to be aware of. I'm not going to get into them today. Uh, we'll do another video for that. But it's something that you have to be aware of, that there's the German method, the English method, and the French method of usage of aromatherapy and using essential oils. Um, and so each one's a little bit different. Some believe some ways are safe. Some believe other ways are not safe. We're going to follow the French method today on this training. And the French method really originated from ancient times, biblical times, and that believes that when plant, the plants are put here on this earth to benefit us, um, to heal ourselves. You know, food is medicine, plant is medicine, that type of philosophy. And when there isn't solvents or chemicals or fertilizers or GMOs or different things messing with the plant, that it can go and it can do powerful things for our bodies, okay? So that's what we follow, the French method, and the different ways I'm going to describe today are through that philosophy, okay? So the first one is breathing it in, breathing essential oils in, and they get in through the lungs, okay, and go in through the nose, and that is going to be the first way. So what you could do is you could take a bottle of oil, and you could smell it directly from the bottle. And you would do deep yoga breaths and breathe it in, okay? And um, so you could simply just do that, especially if you had an expensive bottle of oil. Frankincense is a pretty expensive bottle of oil. There's some other ones out there, rose, things like that. And, you know, you could essentially have a really expensive bottle and never use a drop in it just by smelling it. And so when we smell oils... Um, it goes into our brain and actually can deal with our emotions. And it can help po give us positive emotions when it comes to maybe we're feeling a little bit negative or we're feeling anxious or tired or frustrated or angry. Or, um, you know, I talked about with postpartum after having a baby. You know, I love being a mom. I love my son. But 
things come up and it's a bit stressful those first couple of years of motherhood, right? Especially if you're the first one, we can't deny that. And so um, I don't think that anybody doesn't have some of those feelings that come up, uh, no matter how like minimal or extreme it is. And so, you know, for me, breathing it in, that's an example with the emotions. Now with my son, maybe there's a temper tantrum or something. So him smelling the oil and breathing it in can help calm that. Same with sleep. You know, you're trying to calm down at night and you're just like a little bit like your brain's gone with all the things from the day. Oils can help with that when you smell it. Um, maybe you need a little bit more energy or focus. There's oils for that. And so you would breathe it in. It goes through the brain. And it actually it can go in when it does that and triggers different things scientifically in the brain and in the body that goes and supports the systems uh, with the core, whatever oil you're using for the, the purpose. Now, it can also go in and support things like hormones. Um, it can go and support even different areas of the body that we might have disease in because the brain is tied in with the entire body. And in, so that's basically essentially kind of layman's terms on all the positive benefits of breathing an oil in. Um, if you don't want to breathe it from the bottle, you could also do it through something like this, which is a diffuser. And so diffuser, simply you would take, let me turn it off here, and you would fill some water in it, put a couple drops of the oil, like three, four, five drops of the oil, and then you would turn it on and you could breathe in the oil this way. And I tend to think of this as kind of like a healthy candle. So most candles have synthetic fragrances in it that actually wreak havoc on our body and our endocrine system, on our hormones and our skin. It's not so safe and great for our families. Now, I am a, used to be an anthropology candle like snob. I love them, I'm obsessed with them. Most people like Yankee candles. And so, but they're expensive, right? And they're full of toxins as we come to find. And so what I've done is actually replaced candles in my home with a diffuser in all of the rooms of my house. So um, in my bedroom, in my son's room, um, also in my guest room, in the, the living room, we have a, a diffuser in all of those areas, okay? And then if you still want, like me, to have the ambience of the candles, what I do is I put automatic candles in all of the rooms of my house, and I have them turn, they automatically turn on before dark, so we have that ambiance in my home, but also the smell that's actually supporting us. So we have that going maybe. And uh, before bedtime, me and my son have a routine where we'll put oils in before bedtime. And um, it's so cute. He'll like help me out. And then that gets in, sets in as kind of a routine, but also it's putting these oils into the air to help him calm down, settle down, and the same for us. Um, maybe also um, somebody's feeling anxious in the home or something, so you could have that going. Um, you could even do it in the office if you have a lot of like negative energy going around and stuff in the office at work, you'd have a diffuser going, which would help everybody feel better without them even knowing why with having the right oil going. Um, then you could even get into like immune system. So there's different oils for that, the immune system. And so you could have an oil, you know, it's getting towards school season or the fall with a lot of like cold and flu season going around or holiday travel. And so having the appropriate oils for that going in the diffuser and smelling them can actually support with that. So whether, it, you know, you're doing it for preventative wellness for the family and you have that going during the day or um, you actually are feeling sick and so you do it for that reason, that could be something there. You could even have it for like respiratory. Maybe you have some congestion or something going on. And so there's oils for that that you breathe in to help support and clear that out. So that would be breathing it in would be the first way, okay? And the next way is going to be um, where you apply it to the skin. So this would be where you take the oil and you apply it to the skin externally. So topical application. And so it could be anybody in the family that you do it on. And basically you could take um, a drop or two of the oil, that's the serving size. You put it in your hand, rub it around, and um, you could apply it on location. So here, I'll take a drop of frankincense here. And first what I would do is I would rub it around in my palm of my hand and then cup it over my nose and smell it. And breathe it in first. So I would do it in, uh, where I'd inhale it in and breathe it in. And then I would apply it where I would want to. So I'm getting that extra additional bonus when I'm doing it. So you can apply it onto your areas of concern on your face. So whether you have maybe some tired, mature skin that you want to like plump up, whether you have some acne, or maybe you have some like itchy, sensitive skin areas on your body, there's oils for that that can support that. Maybe you burned yourself with a curling iron or in the kitchen cooking. There's oils that can support that. Maybe you're outside too long, you have too much sun, or you got some bug bites. There's oils for that and you would apply them topically, okay? 
Now, when you apply the oil neat, where you just put a drop in your hand and use it, that's called neat. Now, that's, uh, if you decide that you don't want to do that, you actually you can dilute the oil down with a carry oil. So that would be something like jojoba oil, um, fractionated coconut oil or coconut oil, almond oil, grapeseed oil. That's what would be called um, diluting it down. You could take about a dime size, quarter size amount of it. Put a drop or two of the essential oil in your hand, and you could do it that way, then dilute it down and apply it. So that's great for kiddos, great for when you're first starting to use the oils, you're not sure. Great for if it's like a hot oil, like peppermint, where it kind of has that icy hot feel. So that would be a way to dilute, okay? You could put it in your skin cream, that's kind of a way to dilute. Um, Stuff like that, okay? So the other way for putting it on your skin could be through like a roller bottle. So you'll see roller bottle blends all over the internet. And so that's basically what these are. And you take some of like the, the coconut oil or the grapeseed oil or jojoba oil, you put it in, put a couple drops of the um, essential oil in, and then you can rub it on location. So you can have different blends ready in your purse for that. Um, and so that would be through a roller bottle, which would be topical. So you could just apply it by itself. You could apply it by putting it in your hand diluted with another carrot oil. You could use it this way. Or you could actually put it on the bottoms of your feet. And the bottoms of your feet, kind of like through the nose, is a quick way it gets into your whole body and goes into you. Same with the bottoms of your feet. So when you apply it there, it actually goes into your body. And it within a couple minutes, every cell in your body will actually have that oil on it. And it'll be able to support you. So whether that be for like sleep or calming down or focus or energy or something like that. So, you know, at nighttime, like I said, we'll have the diffusers going. But we'll also put it on the bottoms of our feet to calm us down. So I'll do that to my son, for myself, and my husband. And um, it goes and it can calm us. Uh, the same goes for the immune system. How I said that you might smell the oil for the immune system, you could also apply it to your bottom. So your feet, it's a great way for the immune to do boosting immune system stuff. So an oil that you could do that. We do that a lot when we travel or on the holidays or if we're about to get on a plane or be in a public event, we'll put it on the bottoms of our feet before we go out. I do that to my son for everyone. So that would be a topically. Um, the next way could actually be um, through the mouth for through for, to get to the digestion system to get your stomach so you would take them internally would be the third way that you could use essential oils so when you do this you could just put it in like some water like a drop or two in some water or some juice and swallow it down it's a quick way yeah what oil doesn't mix with water but it's a quick way to get into your stomach and your gut and get out into your bloodstream that way um, you could actually uh, take a drop and swallow it just by itself if you wanted to um, which um, you know you would want or you could put it under the tongue of your mouth, which is what I prefer. So you could do it through a drink or you could put it under the tongue of your mouth, which we've heard that under your, under the tongue is how one of the quickest way for something to get absorbed into our bloodstream, right? So we've heard that with natural type of medicine for a long time, homeopathics, tinctures, things like that. So you put it under the uh, tongue, a drop, and then it would get in. Another way could be through a capsule. And so you would take a capsule like this, and they're empty, like vegetable capsules, or and you could actually put in some like uh, coconut oil or something that you could take internally, the drop or two of the oil, essential oil, close it up, and then you'd swallow it so you don't have to taste it, and so that it gets directly into your, your gut, into your system of the body in that way, okay? And if you're going to take something internally, uh, really it's to support the immune system for a wellness type regimen. Um, maybe it is for preventative, or maybe you actually have uh, some type of system or disease or something that you're working on and you found and looked up the oil that correlates to that and you would take internally to that to help support it naturally okay um, so those would be the different ways that you would take oils okay um, so through the air breathing it in um, topically or internally and you could use one all the ways um, it doesn't matter. It's whatever you're comfortable using, okay? So when we do this, though, we want to make sure that we're using therapeutic grade quality oils, okay? This is really important as um, there are 90% of the oils on the market are of synthetic grade or have um, chemicals or solvents to, like, water them down that are mixed in there. Even ones from the health food store we tend to find. So we need to be aware of that when we're doing this, okay? Um, and when we're using oils, we need to think of them as not recreational use, but actually that they're there to heal. Um, so therapeutic oils are there, they're created, intended to heal versus recreational oils are there and they don't heal. You know, they're just kind of for recreational fun purposes, which to me is kind of pointless. All right. So what we need to be aware of this and we need to buy from responsible companies that actually are 
um, putting out the oils there with the core intent of healing for therapeutic properties, okay? Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this training today, and I would love to be able to actually, if you're interested in more information, I would love to get you a sample of something that would work for you. So comment below, how would you use it? Would you use it in your home, on your kids, in, um, on your on your pets, or your, you know, how would you use it? What would you use it for? Would you use it for skin? Would you use it for wellness? Would you use it for immune system? Would you use it for boo-boos? Would you use it for hormones? What are you looking for in uh, your life right now that you're looking for something natural to replace something with? And then comment if you want a sample of it. And so then I'll cater a sample. I'll get one sent over to you on me, complimentary, um, to help you kind of start this oil journey and learn more about how to use them and play with it a little bit and find the right oil for your needs right now. I really think it's important to get oils into every home especially those with kids. And so it would be my pleasure to be able to send that over to you. So just comment below and let me know, okay? So thank you for being here. I hope you got a lot of value out of this and I look forward to seeing you on the next Minus Matters um, educational video series. Take care, guys.